Thank you for joining me for this literature review, looking at the pilot study demonstrating the potential benefits of anti-inflammatory therapy in human lymphedema. This review was posted in the Journal of Clinical Insight and published in October of 2018, led by Dr. Stanley Roxon and his team. This review starts by talking again about what lymphedema is, the differences between primary and secondary lymphedemas, and it goes on to say that there has been no drug therapy that has been established to safely and effectively treat this chronic debilitating condition. What we do know is that lymphedema ensues as a consequence of lymphatic insufficiency and the presence of persistent tissue inflammation. For those of you who suffer from lymphedema, know that this inflammation starts as a fluid and then can become a fatty tissue deposit over long periods of time. And the relationship between persistent inflammation and impaired lymphangiogenesis has not been sufficiently explored until recently. So it's postulated that chronic interstitial fluid accumulation over time in lymphedema leads to both the architectural changes in the structure of the skin and it impairs clearance of inflammatory cells and mediators. So it is these inflammatory cells that are sitting within the skin over long periods of time that are actually changing the structure of the skin itself. This is going to be very important in patients who've had long-standing lymphedema and aren't responding to traditional or early stage intervention. The drug ketoprofen was chosen for this study as it is an NSAID, N-S-A-I-D, or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that has a recognized dual anti-inflammatory mechanism of action that includes the inhibition of 5-lipoxygenase pathway. We don't need to get into the specifics of the pathways that are used by this medication, but we just need to know that there is a specific reason for choosing this medication itself. There were two studies that were done. The first was an open label trial where everybody involved understood what was going on. And the second was a placebo controlled randomized trial. We're going to talk a little bit about the results of both of these trials. Um, they were both small scale trials and they were both looking at a primary endpoint of skin tissue thickness or dermal thickness and specific assessments were developed to look at the difference between lymphedematous skin and normal skin or dermal tissue. Patients in the placebo controlled study were given 75 milligrams of ketoprofen by mouth three times a day for a course of four months. What was seen was that there was a marked improvement in this assessment tool looking at the histopathology score of the skin. So there was a significant reduction in skin thickness. What is also important to note is that there was no significant difference in limb volume or bioimpedance, so the measurement of fluid within the tissue, when baseline values were compared with those at study termination. So volume wasn't much different, but the skin condition was markedly different. It also goes on to say that there were no significant side effects during the course of this trial. That being said, it is also very known that gastrointestinal um, problems are known to limit the effect of NSAIDs in general. It also goes on to state further why ketoprofen itself is the very specific drug that they used and how it targeted those specific pathways that are mentioned. It has an, a negative effect on the inflammatory processes that the body undergoes in patients who have long-standing lymphedema. This study um, concludes with a discussion saying that it's widely acknowledged that the skin is the target organ of injury in patients with lymphedema and clinical investigations have traditionally emphasized limb volume changes versus direct assessment of the skin itself. Modern concepts of lymphedema implicate microlymphatic dysfunction within the skin. So within this conceptual framework, increase in limb volume would be a consequence of this microcirculatory dysfunction. And the improvement in skin thickness and histology in lymphedema following ketoprofen treatment is a finding that paves the way for drug therapies in the future that might have the capacity to help with lymphatic repair. Ketoprofen therapy induced a therapeutic architectural remodeling of the skin itself. So this is very exciting when you're talking about oral medication therapy. 
All forms of lymphedema are characterized by structural changes that include increased interstitial tissue fluid content, fibrosis of the lymphatic vasculature and surrounding tissues, as well as adipose, hypertrophy, and inflammation. It's also believed that ketoprofen itself is the only drug that has so far shown any reversal of the damage that is caused by this continuous inflammatory process. Some of the limitations of this study are very small size. There were only 21 patients enrolled, and it also discusses the lack of improvement in girth measurements or limb volume or bioimpedance measurements. So those are usually the primary endpoints in any study relating to lymphedema. However, the primary endpoint for this for this particular study being skin thickness was significantly improved, which could lead to further research moving forward. It must be mentioned that all NSAIDs currently have a black box warning for cardiovascular toxicity. It's said that this warning was administered after the last subject was enrolled in this study. In conclusion, it's very exciting that lymphedema, which is a worldwide health problem, may benefit from therapies that reduce chronic inflammation and reverse the negative impact of inflammation on lymphatic repair. So there is a possibility that oral medications may be used more commonly in the treatment of lymphedema moving forward. I hope you all found this very helpful and I welcome any questions and comments below. Thanks. Have a great day, everybody.